Hey, everybody. Okay. Amanda. Hello, team. Today, Hi. we're going to be reviewing our All Day Running Co. brand guidelines and deck and review what we stand for as a company and everything, including our brand voice, our logos. And if anybody has any questions, wants to chime in, you totally can. Right. This is my favorite part of the day, of the week, these calls. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. I'm super excited to share with you. Um, since we started All Day Running Co. in 2021, we've had many different iterations to get us to this point where it's so clear that we stand for fun. We are bringing the fun back to running. So the easiest way that we can compare it right now is that when you think of Disney, it's the happiest place on earth. We are the world's funnest running club. So that's a great parallel. So whether it's one mile or 100, we celebrate the effort it takes to put one foot in front of the other. It's not about how hard you go or how much you do. It's about committing to a goal and giving it your all to reach it, whatever your all is. Most importantly, having fun while doing it. So that's our mission, bringing the fun. And how we're going to do that is through our events, community, and gear. So it's our goal to encourage people to get active, have fun, and connect with people in a more meaningful way. Um, and by more meaningful, just meaning how we're taking a typical race and transforming it into an event where people can really connect before and after through Sauna Village, our gear, um, and everything like that. So runners and non-runners alike can find a home here. We believe that if we create an uplifting environment for people to feel inspired, take on fitness goals, the more likely it is, likely it is that people will stay consistent to achieve them. Yeah, I like what you said when you were talking about um, how running is intimidating for a lot of people. And, you know, by making it fun and making it less intimidating, it opens up the door for a lot, for, you know, a, a larger community and, you know, running should be fun. I never ran a race to win. I want to have fun and meet people. And, you know, so I, I think this looks great. Yeah. Well, that literally leads us right into the next thing, which is your quote, which you said, we realize that most people don't run races to win. So funny that you just said that. Um, they want community. They want to feel accomplished and they want to have fun. That message has gotten lost recently. So we created all day to elevate the running experience, having fun and leaving people with a story to tell. So three main values whenever we host events is that we want people to be learning something new, meeting someone new, and trying something new. And we carry that over from our events into our virtual races, into um, our membership, um, which brings us to our community. So our members um, have access to our in-person events, virtual races, our app, um, our world-renowned coaches through our group expert calls. Really, you are who you surround yourself with. And in this community, it's not about being the best or being the fastest. It's about the fact that we celebrate anybody who's willing to put one foot in front of the other. Now, our gear. So our gear is very colorful. It's uplifting. Like you said, it's not intimidating. We want people to be drawn in. And so the 1970s has been a really big inspiration for building this brand. So not only the colorways of the 70s, but back to a simpler time. I know that we even debated on naming this company Simple because of just we wanted it to be simple. Um, but glad we went with All Day Running Co. <laughs> and so through intentional color and design, we're creating a vibe that not only appeals to runners, but for all people who find energy through movement. Any questions so far? Oh, it's looking good. Okay, so we we do a lot of different things. We're virtual races, we're in-person events, community, gear. So this diagram is super helpful in seeing how everything lines up with each other. So how our virtual races and team runs, our virtual racing is actually a pillar between our events and community and how it's our way that when we can't do in-person events, how we can keep our community connected. Our Workout 365 and our app is a way that our community and gear and clothing are connected because it's a way that we share on social media and by posting and wearing the gear, it's a way that we all feel like we're on the same team. Um, and the overall factor between all of it, so if you see at the top, our ecosystem provides a constant 
stream of fun experiences for our member to explore our members to explore and engage. So over all of it is this aspect of fun. Our messaging and voice. So we're authentic, grounded. We love running just like you. We started this company for the love of it. Like we said, simpler times, you just run out the door. Not be, We're not going up against Nike. We're not going up against Adidas. Like we are just for the everyday runner. Our manifesto. And now this is one of my favorite parts is like the breakdown of our name. So everything has been super intentional. So I know All Day Running Co. can feel kind of lengthy sometimes, but there's importance in saying the entire name and what it means. So All Day is the mindset, running is our passion, and then Co. is togetherness. So when you put it all together, it has this overall meaning to it. So that when we talk about our brand, we want to make sure we say the full name. So even when saying All Day Running, we don't want to say All Day Running because we always want the co and the community, the company and the togetherness involved. If we were to need a shorthand, we can say all day. Um, for example, like the all day community is so excited, all day is looking forward to. Um, if we don't want to use the entire name, but anything important, important documents, subject lines is all day running co. Staying away from ADR and ADRC because we want people to be able to recognize our brand. If somebody's just talking about it on social media or you see it out and about, people, newcomers won't know what ADR or ADRC stands for. So our brand logo. So this is our color track, as we call it. It has this signature arch in it. And so this represents the paths for all different types and levels of runners. So we all start in a similar place, reach this peak and come to our journey together. But of course, they're separate and there's different levels of runners. And this is even something we included on our patch system for our duffels is the different um, race distances of 5K, 10K, half marathon, all the way to, I know we have 50K, 100 miler. It starts at 5K, 10K at this yellow. And then as you go up in distances, it uh, gets to the darker hues. Our slogan of all in all day, this is just a reminder of what that truly means. So it's not about going all day. It's not about running 24 hours in a day, but it's about the level of commitment that you put into things and giving 100% commitment. So it could be about, you know, I said I was going to put out the trash today. I don't really want to do it. But like having this all in mentality of like, Ugh, I committed to it and I'm going to do it. This is our brand history timeline. We started it in March 2021. I know those were just ideas. Oh, I really want to make a running company. And finally, Jesse was like, no, like, take this seriously. Like, like put put together something. I want I really think we should we're on to something here. And so all the way to January 1st, when we launched our membership program and started Workout 365. This is our um, the three different target markets that we're going after and the internal motivation and how how they would find us and what would they find um, that resonates, how our company resonates with them. So new runners would lean to All Day Running Co. as support. We're a way that they can get involved without feeling intimidated. Um, they kind of feel like they're missing out. So how can I join this community? We're a great entry for them. Re-emerging runners, we're a great community for people who maybe ran in their teens, 20s, and then fell out of it and they want to get started again. And then avid runners, All Day Running Co., we're, although we're extremely inclusive, it also appeals to people who have been running marathons, ultra marathons for decades because our events have an edge to them. They're also an adventure and it's a way that people can continue challenging themselves. This slide is about the external journey, um, so the transforming benefits of the run, it's about um, how running can bring um, your thoughts into clarity, breaking self-imposed barriers, bringing positivity into your life, um, how the different tiers of our offerings right now. So right now people can get involved. I know, Todd, we had talked about um, creating a, um, 
like an email system. So when people come to our website, they could put their email in, get some sort of free training plan, um, something to get people included in that first tier. Um, the second tier is our virtual races and how people have access to our community and what we're doing within their local communities. Um, and then the paid membership is for people who are wanting to be a part of the community in a bigger way and attend our in-person events. So this slide is about how we as a company represent ourselves, who we are as the people who work here, but also for the type of people that we attract. So it's the kind of people who say yes to challenges, who follow through, people who are kind. We do it for ourselves. My the, the part that I like the most is living by example, walking the walk, being humble. We're not doing this for a big accolade at the end. This is because we are doing what makes us happy. And by doing that, we don't even need like there doesn't need to be a write up somewhere somewhere. People just know that you are who you say you are. By doing the things you say you're going to do. So this is our brand voice and our verbal identity. Um, on the left, we're eclectic. There's no one type of athlete. We're passionate, we're determined, adventurous, and say yes to the unknown. Team-oriented, we win together. Humble, we live by example and don't need to brag about accomplishments. We are not. And then these are just, I put them in like, like examples of quotes, what people, um, what to stay away from saying. So we're not elitist, we're not macho, destructive, cynical, apathetic, or loud. So nothing like, oh, I didn't even try and look how far far or fast I ran. This is like a very inclusive, exciting, excited for each other. You're going to do your best. This person's going to do their best uh, inclusive community. This is another um, example of how to talk to our different audiences through our brand messaging. So we take an inclusive and mentoring approach to our new runners, welcoming re-emerging runners back into the routine of running. And then for avid runners, we're celebrating their accomplishments and efforts while acknowledging um, like the effort that goes into training for these uh, higher level distances. This is an example of um, some stats. So since 2021, the increase in interest in running, um, size of the running community and the people that we're really talking to, um, potential of runners who want to be building up to that half marathon mark. So that's on the left, what's your favorite race distance? You see that a half marathon is something that is a challenging goal, but may may seem less intimidating than going for a full marathon. Um, so I know that a lot of our events so far, like Hell in the Hill, Maine, um, that was a half marathon. Jesse, Hell in the Hill in Connecticut is always past that 10K mark and gives people a good challenge at an attainable, um, difficult but attainable distance. It's Does so anybody have any? It's so interesting to me that over half the people, their favorite distance is marathon or half. <laughs> it's also very interesting to me that when you look at the average miles run in a week, only about less than 10%. Well, I guess 13%. So 87% are below 40 miles a week. So it just shows that most runners are really casual runners. Because if you're going over 40 miles, Chris, right? If you're going over 40 miles a week, you get the 40 to 70 range. You're really, that, that's a lot of mileage for somebody. But it just shows that you're looking for at sure. the majority of the people are, are you know, 87% are on the other side of that curve. Which is just interesting to know that the the demo for us is, you know, it's big. It's the ca it's that casual runner. The Agreed. fun there is as well um, that if you're ready for a half marathon, it's a great launching point. If you do decide to move up, or you're beyond fit for a fast 10k, it's the perfect in between space to make a decision if you would like to run longer and you have a yeah. great platform and baseline fitness to make that decision. Todd, it's also like, you know, we launched our first event, Hell on the Hill, which was a half marathon, you know, the hilliest half marathon. It's interesting to note that if we went deeper in the half marathon space and with different themes or whatever, or we had more Hell on the Hills, it's good to know that we're talking to the most favorite race distance. Oh, yeah, I agree. It's also my favorite race distance. 
it's fun. It's not too intense. You can kind of show up and still do pretty well. It's great. I agree. I agree. Let's cool. keep going, Amanda. All right. So our brand identity. This is exciting. So we have amazing logos. Um, these are our two primary logos, our color track and our red logo. Um, these are our secondary marks. So what you see commonly in our emails on our gear, um, we usually use this leg legacy style at the top of our emails. This um, black image here is on our hang tags. Uh, this is always the kind of way we should put our logos together. Um, this is our how we shouldn't alter our logos which people love to alter them because our color track, our four stripes are so exciting. But for example, on number four, um, we shouldn't ever alter our signature arch or the four stripes. Um, let me go in order. So one is our red logo. We want to make sure to always keep the white background. So you see that here as our logo and not putting it as a transparent background on the different things we make. Um, two, only if we need a single color print. So let's say Bianca needs is ordering gear or ordering merch and we needed it to be a single print, we can use either the white or the black version of this, but not um, on any sort of digital media. For three, if we're using our four stripes horizontally or vertically, we want to stay consistent with which stripe starts first. So um, on the vertical, the blue stripe is always on the left. On the horizontal, the blue stripe is always on the bottom. And then it's not altering um, the location of our color arch or the colors. You'd be surprised with like how many times like we've created something and we'll be like, hmm, is this still on brand? Um, our color palette, uh, our fonts, and then kind of just the attitude and voice again. We're not here to sell you on anything. We're literally just, do, uh, we're a group of friends and we're doing this because we love it. Open arms, come on in and join if you'd like. Then this goes into our photography community, grit, having fun. And then some of our textures, packaging concepts, um, example gear we want to bring to life. Hold on, I our like social all that. Go back to that. Go back to that. Yes, I like those <laughs> t-shirts a lot. I know. Let's the sweatpants. <clears throat> yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, I like the visors too. Those funky visors. Yeah. Those are great. Yeah, I mean, there's so much we can do. There is. Yeah, and then just examples of like uh, people that we've partnered with or that we've hosted at our events. And that's the end of our presentation. Excellent work, Amanda. Excellent. Amanda, can I ask a question? Yes. Amanda, Amanda can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, I can hear um, you. What's, how are we uh, describing the 100 um, that comes up in our logo? So that's a good question. When we created it, the 100 resonates with the fact that we go 100%. So putting in 100%, which then resonates with the all in all day slogan of like giving 100% going all in all day. So if anybody has any other questions, I can answer, but I will send this to all of you. So you have it. I feel really excited that we landed on this. I feel like we all agree with this overall message of um fun we're bringing the fun back to running for a lot of people so i'm having fun <laughs> <laughs> no it's exciting man that it, you know like congratulations and and to you and the team angela molly everybody bianca everybody here i mean um it looks like it just looks really like this brand has been out there for a long time since the 70s um, and come a really long way in a really short amount of time in a competitive space. But more importantly, the community is really being a part of it and, and accepting it. And uh, so it's great to see. And it's great to see that it uh, that just you can envision where it's going to go. It's exciting. 